Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Murise. My name is M. Jeromoto, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown of The Year I Turned 21 by Ira Star. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Morning. It's hard to believe that Ira Star is only 22 when she feels so much like a seasoned vet in this industry. This is with numerous hits under her belt to make her a world-renowned talent. The Year I Turned 21 is Ira Star's sophomore album after 19 and Dangerous and the growth trajectory is beautiful to see. It's only been three years after Ira Star dropped a debut self-titled four-track EP and you could tell she had talent but for whatever reason she wasn't quite there yet on that EP. Then Ira Star said, hold my beer and has been on one of the maddest runs that will be talked about for decades to come in the African music industry because what she's done since then, ah, it's crazy. But taking it back a little bit, after I dropped the best albums list for last month, I got comments like, where's Aristar's album? What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. But typically, like I said before, I don't really listen to uh, a lot of music probably in the last week of the month. It's just busy with work and everything else that i do so i hadn't listened to the album i was like i'm not gonna rush it and put it on the list Uh, oh but if i listen to it and i don't like it you know but it just so happened that it's such a good album jeez but let's talk about it the year i turned 21 offers an introspective take on iris star as she has navigated music and life at the same time and it's not like you don't navigate life and music at the same time but What's key here is her age. It's a weird place to be when you have immense talent, but are so young without the extra life experience, so to speak, and then to blow up so young and still needing to be down to earth enough to go through the ups and downs of life with your family, friends, and whoever, going through things like heartbreak, death, making new friends, losing old ones, you know emotions trying to just discover who you are etc it's a lot and i love that she did her best to channel all that into the music and the result is a wonderfully crafted album with a variety of soundscapes and moods but somehow managing to put it together very well you get everything you get the serious stuff you get the party vibes you get the you know I'm just in a weird place, vibes, everything is within this project. Something has to be said about the collabos too. They're perfect in so many ways. They allow Ira Star to tap into the fan bases of the other musicians, but they can diversify her appeal in a way not many other musicians can do. There's a good mix of the local crew with Ashake and Shea vibes getting the nod, then the talents of Brazilian pop star Anita talented U.S. actress and singer Coco Jones and R&B singer-songwriter Givion, and then the song with Jamaican legendary producer Rashan and Puerto Rican star Raul Alejandro. That tells you all you need to know. Quality all the way through. Ira also gave an assist to her brother Mila, who uh, features on the song 1942. I thought that was a really nice touch. Always good to see siblings supporting one another. But ultimately, I can say this. Ira Star has the right sound and it's amazing how this album balances the slow emotional stuff with the more up-tempo music that can rock the dance floors, which is something that I mentioned earlier. This is where she wins for me. She did it perfectly. And in the process, gave her fans what they expected and more. She also managed to create this bridge where there's this optimal environment to get even more fans because somebody who's discovering your music, there's so many opportunities to find her on something that you, that draws you in. 
If you like something smooth like Last Heartbreak Song with Giveon or you're more into yo I want to I want to rock the dance floor on Woman Commando with Anita and Coco Jones. They're just different records, equally good but for different fans too. There's so much to appreciate about the execution here and the track listing as well. This is by far my favorite Ira Star project that's out there. I rate this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. By the way, before I dip, my website is now up and running. mjwemoto.com mjwemoto.com Just check it out. Check it out. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe signing out. Peace. Day and day. This podcast is hosted by MJ.